Poop, it's your girl Jordan, Brianna. And um, today I'm gonna show you guys my skincare routine. It's been requested a lot since I talk about skincare all the time on social media. If you don't follow me on Twitter, Tumblr, or Snapchat, you need to, cause you're missing out on me. <laughs> I'm just playing, but you're missing out on stuff that I show my social media platforms. I had to keep checking cause I'm filming with my camera today. Usually I film with my phone so I can see myself, but I'm trying to be more professional with this, you feel me? So, but my camera keeps like automatically, it just stops recording without letting me know. So I could be talking to you right now and the camera wouldn't even be recording me. That's why I had to keep checking, but it's still recording. So yeah. First things first, I have a full face on right now. So I have these makeup wipes, they're charcoal cleansing cloths from Global Beauty Care. My mom got these for me, got these for, for me at Marshall's and they were $3.99. Marshall's is really where you need to go for makeup wipes. They got them for the low and you get a whole bunch of wipes. Like this came with 60 wipes. How much Neutrogena give you? Half of that, right? Forget them and go to Marshall's or TJ Maxx and get your makeup wipes. Way cheaper and get way more. It's a really thick sheet. It's black. I'm gonna just take off my makeup. I still have some skin uh, concerns that I'm not done clearing up. But what my skin used to look like compared to this, this is really major progress. Little do you guys know. Because <laughs> you guys have not seen my skin before. Like, my nose gets so dry and flaky and oily. Not oily, but just flaky and dry. So yeah, I'm just gonna take this off. And I like this because I feel like the charcoal takes a lot of the makeup off. I just got this today. The, um, Garnier Skin Active Mar Micelle Cleansing Water. That's a little one at Ulta today because I've been wanting to try it. It's the First Aid Beauty Pure Skin Face Cleanser, and it's just a gentle cleanser. There's nothing really special about this, I feel like. It's just something that gets my face, gives me that security of being clean. And yes, I normally wash my face with my bonnet on. Bonnet gang! Bonnet gang in this thing! What? Bonnet gang! Okay. So after that, what do we do? We tone. And normally, it don't really matter which one you use. I just wanted to try this one out. I just got this today. But I've been using this, the witch hazel, just some witch hazel to tone. I use it as a toner. And this is the um, Thayer's, I think I'm saying it right. Thayer's Natural Remedies Witch Hazel Aloe Vera Formula Alcohol Free Toner in Rose Petal. Smells just like rose petals. Toning your face just puts, um, it kind of, Kinda. It balances out your pH balance, puts it back into your skin because after you wash your face, you kind of like wash away some of your natural oils and this kind of just balances your skin back. I don't know how to describe it, but like if you're in the skincare, you know what I'm talking about. Get into it. I just dab this all over my face. After you tone is when you do your treatment. Any treatment that you have going on, 
um, or a serum or something of that sort. And it's the Caudalie Beno Perfect. Hopefully I'm saying it right. Beno Perfect Radiant Serum. And you can actually get this in, a, in your birthday gift this year with Sephora. There's a, two options. There's the Tarte and then there's the Caudalie skincare option. If I were you, I would choose the, especially if you're black, I would get the, um, or any, just any skin tone that doesn't, can't, doesn't, if you don't like wearing like pink, pink lipstick, like a pale pink liquid lipstick or a blush, that birthday gift is not universal this year. Like, I don't know what they were thinking. But yeah, you can get this as a skincare um, birthday gift this year. You get the serum and you get the moisturizer. But the serum that I'm putting on is really good for fading away dark marks and evening out your skin tone. So lately I've been taking like a lot of stuff from my dog, like samples to try. And I fell in love with the Glam Glow Thirsty Mud Hydrating Treatment. It's really good. And it just is something I like to put on at night and leave it on and just let it soak into my skin. So in the morning when I wake up, it's super glowy and hydrated and it's just amazing. So I do recommend that you get the Glam Glow um, Hydrating Treatment or at least take a sample. Ask them to get you a sample when you go to Sephora and they can make you one. It's bomb. But I don't use it every day because I feel like it can kind of like over moisturize my skin. If that makes sense. Like, I feel like if you do it too much, it's just too much. You know, only use it when you feel like you need to use it. Like when you know, when you have dry skin, you know what I mean. Like when you feel like your skin is just so dried out. When you have that type of feeling is when you would use that mask. But like every day, every night, I mean, I would not do that every night. It's just not an every night thing. A moisturizer that I like to use is the Ola Hendrickson, the Sheer Transformation. And I got this in a gratis bag. So, yeah. But you can get samples of it. And it's, Ola Hendrickson isn't that expensive. This is like, it's more than a drugstore. If you're used to buying drugstore skincare, then you're gonna think Ula costs too much. But it really doesn't in the Sephora world because Sephora skincare stuff can get high. Like the the prices can be super high, so Ula is more on the affordable side, in my opinion. And there's some other skin skincare stuff that I use, um, but I don't use all of them at once, you know. So this is just my night routine, I guess. <laughs> and. I like to take coconut oil and put it on my eyebrows. I read on Pinterest that coconut oil is supposed to make your um, your eyebrows and your lashes grow if you put it on there. It's also good to exfoliate where your brows are because it's not that coconut oil is not going to do nothing but just sit there on top of the brows. This stuff. It is really good. It has aloe, herbs, and rose water. And it's just amazing. It's just really refreshing. I love it. Next is the last step that I do. And that is spot treatment. Because I do have a couple of marks I'm trying to fade away. And a good thing to do with that is use a um, a drying lotion. And I use the Mario Badescu drying lotion. And you just take a Q-tip and you dip it into the pink. And then You put it on any marks you have on your face that you're trying to get rid of. And it makes it fade, I feel like. Hey, babe. 
I only do this when I'm like, I just feel like there's the. I've had a recent breakout, so I'm just trying to get rid of these marks that it left. But usually I don't put the drying lotion on my face every night. Only when I have spots to treat. Um, but yeah, when you're done, your skin feels very hydrated and ready to go to bed. But as I get more skincare stuff and try out stuff, I will do reviews because I'm really into skincare. Like, that's my stuff. This is my current skincare routine. There's just a couple of things I didn't do because I don't do it every night. This is just the basics of, basic steps of how I do it. So, um, hopefully you like this video and please don't come from my dark circles, okay? Because it's hereditary and I'm gonna get it done that procedure and it's gonna be Gucci. Or yeah. come on, bro. I got a piece. Your brother's in the other bathroom. Well, I guess that's the conclusion of this video because I have no choice. Oh, see you guys. <laughs> Sonny, come on, bro. Come here, son. Damn. Cut it off. Oh my god, this is a hot man.